Wow, I'm overwhelmed by your interest in my last video about DeepSeek, which was actually the first video I talked about that. So almost 100,000 views. That's amazing. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you would also smash a like and subscribe to this channel. So in order that you don't miss out on any new videos here on this channel, we talk about insights into what's happening in the China tech world. Along with that, investment opportunities like some of the US listed Chinese stocks and there's a big focus on EV electric vehicles and one in particular, NIO, that is very uh, of interest to lots of years out there. So that's what it's all about. But in this video, I would really like to give you my updated view because this world is moving so fast and we've got a couple of controversial discussions around DeepSeek and its meaning, its significance and how to actually achieve that. So I think I've got a quite few new takes here uh, along with my earlier predictions that I made uh, in my last video and I would like to talk about some stuff that you possibly will not find uh, somewhere else. So stick to the very end. Now without further ado, let's jump in there. I think the first question we need to ask is whether or not this is all just a hype around DeepSeek and you know whether this can be sustainable. I would argue there is substantial innovation to DeepSeek and that's not only the impact that we've seen uh, with the CapEx narrative shifting, which I talked about in my last video and where I will give you an update whether or not the reaction by Nvidia is justified or not in my views. But now get back to DeepSeek and what it's really about on the fundamental side. I think it's demonstrated really the ability by China to work in this tight setting of sanctions that is really uh, you know, making it very hard for them uh, still keeping up with the West and they've done so by what was my first prediction by focusing on the algorithms and the training cost right and here we see the innovation that is without question happening so DeepSeek demonstrates really some new ways for reasoning, for uh, reinforced learning and also for distilling er um, previous models into something new and therefore becoming far more efficient, right? This is without a doubt happening. It's open source, everybody can see it and therefore I think already it's justified to speak of DeepSeek as real innovation and something that's going to last and that the impact really is, you know, not just uh, fake or something like that because we've got many discussions out there questioning whether or not really the six million budget is uh, correct whether or not they really only have around 2000 nvidia h1 uh, 800s or, or not um, but i would argue that really doesn't matter too much the fact is that there is a new model out there that is on the benchmark uh, along with the tops uh, of the top models out there uh, and still you know, having this operational cost, which is indeed way, way lower, up to 93% lower uh, for the inference part. And the inference part is really uh, where this new model is shifting the battlefield to, right? You have the training of models, which needs this enormous compute power with the latest chips by NVIDIA, uh, where certainly there are limitations and where maybe deep sea lose a couple of hacks and workarounds there, to be honest, um, that's for sure. And maybe even has a couple more GPUs than most people would think. But that doesn't matter too much because we're moving to the inference um, you know, stage here where the real battle is happening for China now and where the newness of DeepSeek that they bring onto the table here is that it's uh, compatible with Huawei chips, Huawei Essence, and um, that's a really big game changer because that's actually you know going into my second um, uh, prediction that I made in my video last time is that you know not only we possibly get the algorithms and the improvements on that side but on top of that we will also get the chips coming out domestically from China that are able to possibly break the monopoly of um, Nvidia there. And I think this is why we've seen the strong market reaction uh, by Nvidia. The stock was down almost 20% uh, mon uh, on Monday. And I think the consensus here is that in the short term, really, it does have an impact on 
the need for uh, chips, uh, nobody is now going to just waste capital on just buying chips when there is DeepSeek that has demonstrated they can do so much with less. On that note, though, we've seen a new narrative emerging um, coming from the Microsoft CEO speaking about the Jevons um, paradox. So meaning that if the costs are coming down, which they are coming down now indeed, it's also creating additional demand. So frankly, that is uh, in short the, the thesis here saying that, look, the outcome will actually that there will be more demand for NVIDIA chips uh, than before. And I do see that there is merit to that idea and to that narrative. I don't think that's uh, wrong. The question though is whose chips are they gonna be? And as I said, DeepSeek is shifting the battleground to inference and not to training so much anymore. And that means that we have now, if in business terms speaking, more of a, uh, a focus on the variable cost than on the fixed cost. You know, you train a big model one time and that's kind of your big fixed cost where there is advantages for the, the Western uh, companies because they have this compute and so on. And where maybe Chinese, you know, training of models uh, is more costly and needs more time and so on, it's less efficient. But we're now uh, going to the operational side and going away from the fixed cost to the variable cost as we are creating many, many more uh, applications on those new models like DeepSeek. And with that, DeepSeek is much, much more cost effective. And so basically the variable cost, if there is more usage, uh, can you know, make the bigger impact ultimately in the big sum of the cost here. And therefore, I think that's the shift that we're seeing and what will ultimately drive this whole ecosystem in China. And I said in my earlier video, again, predict that this will result into a shift away from NVIDIA chips to more domestic chips. And that's what's also been demonstrated with DeepSeek here. And, you know, that's the whole innovation unfolding based on open source because this will also create more um, opportunities and more application cases and that's why China as opposed of those US monopolies is going open source and why it's so disruptive to the industry in my opinion. And this is also countering one of the other arguments that I've seen. Uh, obviously people now trying to blackmail uh, deep seek and um, disregard their achievements and say, well, this is just a Chinese spyware. We've seen that with TikTok happening. Uh, we've got the shaming. We, we had a, um, a denial of service attack um, happening. So uh, deep seek was out of service for some time because of some hacking attack. Then uh, media start shaming it for its um, privacy concerns, information and so on. And the fact simply that it's uh, Chinese. However, what people don't really talk about here is that you can host this model locally uh, so you can run it via API as well and it will give you even all of the answers that you like when we're talking when we're talking here about censorship yes if you're accessing the uh, Chinese website obviously because that is hosted in China and needs to adhere to Chinese regulation of course there will be censorship and um, sensitive topics will not be replied in a way that we're used to in the West, uh, although our Western models also have some sort of um, censorship inherent. However, as I said, you can always run DeepSeek as a model locally and uh, even without any data outflow. So this is so powerful that people don't really understand it yet because this is a Chinese ambiguity in the way they're dealing with it in this innovation landscape uh, where I think the, the most Western pundits really uh, haven't got their heads around it yet. So meaning DeepSeek is here to stay and um, I think we will see even more adoption from the Western side. Uh, one primary example which I really like is from uh, Perplexity which is actually one of the competitors which is now offering DeepSeek as an option uh, for their web search and um, the CEO is actually tweeting about that very enthusiastically 
And so I would say, you know, there will be applications built on top of that. And that's just fostering this new AI ecosystem in China, which ultimately I think will have the outcome that the monopoly of uh, NVIDIA will be taken away. It will become an oligarchy, uh, an oligopoly, not oligarchy. I'm talking too much about uh, US um, uh, billionaires and monopolies here, there. Um, so Freudian slip here, but no, uh, you know, I think the margins are coming down for NVIDIA, that's obvious, and it will be more democratized and more available to others. And China, in the end, will become uh, self-sufficient in this regard. This will be the outcome, and DeepSeek was the kickoff um, for that. Now, last but not least, is DeepSeek the real Chinese winner here? I think that's too early to say whether or not it can be sustainable like that with this low cost and also low um, you know, charges that they're taking for their services. Uh, yesterday, we've already seen Alibaba come out with a new QN model that is actually um, beating DeepSeek in some benchmarks. And so I think what we can expect is daily, weekly news around uh, the AI models in China coming out. And I would say this has been al already the case for some time. Um, maybe the problem was in the past that the likes of Alibaba and Baidu really didn't make it accessible in English, in the app stores and so on uh, for the Western audiences so that lots of this China innovation was actually kind of hidden. But now with DeepSeek, it found a way into the world. And now I think there is much more focus on what's happening on China tech and how this will ultimately and irreversibly change the landscape of technology globally. And I hope you enjoy that in an analysis here on the channel and going forward in many more videos about such topics. Thanks for watching and see you in my next videos.